Let's get started quickly producing and consuming messages by using Confluent Cloud to run Kafka for us. If you already have a Confluent Cloud account, feel free to use that. If not, let's sign up for a free account. Head to confluent.cloud and sign in with your existing account, or click on sign up and try it for free. On the sign up page, enter your name, email, and password. Be sure to remember these sign in details as you'll need them later to access your account. Click the start free button and wait to receive a confirmation email in your inbox. The link in the confirmation email will lead you to the next step where you'll be prompted to set up your cluster. Be sure you also check out the promo code in the description to get some additional credits added to your account. I'm going to go ahead and click on add cluster. You'll notice you have a few different options you can select from, basic, standard, or dedicated cluster. Basic and standard clusters are serverless offerings where your free Confluent Cloud usage is only exhausted based on what you use. Perfect for what we need today. The $400 of free credit should be plenty for today and allow you to come back and play with this later. However, if you're wondering how much it'll cost, you can clearly see the prices listed below. Since what we need is pretty basic today, I'm gonna choose the basic and begin configuration. One note before we get started. Once we're done going through this first example, don't forget to come back and stop and delete any resources that you may have created to avoid exhausting that free usage. Then after the class, again, come back, play, mess around a little bit and have fun. The next section is we need to choose which region and zone. I'm gonna go ahead and select AWS and select the zone that is closest to me. In this case, it's Oregon. I only need this in a single zone of availability and so I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Take one last look at the choices you've made and go ahead and give your cluster a name. I'm gonna name mine Security Hands-On. As you can see, I'm using my free trial credit. I can scroll down, look at my configuration costs, usage limit, and uptime SLA, and click Launch Cluster. It may take a minute for your cluster to be provisioned, but I found it's usually pretty quick. And that's it. You'll receive an email once your cluster is provisioned, or you can wait around. All right, now that our cluster is ready to go, I can go ahead and click on the cluster either at the top or over on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and jump over and see what it takes to connect securely and produce and consume some messages. First off, I'm gonna go over to my terminal. Now that our cluster is ready to go, let's see what it takes to connect securely and produce and consume some messages and then export the configuration so you can use to connect any client. I've already cloned the GitHub repo into a folder called Learn Kafka Courses and set that as my working directory. You'll also want to make sure that you've run Docker pull for both the Confluent CP server image and the Zookeeper image. You can see the command on screen for the Zookeeper one and then for the server one as well. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a way to configure our client to connect securely. So back over to Confluent Cloud, we're going to click on Data Integration and then Clients. While we won't be creating a new client from scratch, we can select the Java client to create the configuration we need to connect. Once you've selected your client of choice, you'll be presented with the configuration needed to connect. If you've already created an API key on your cluster because you've been using Confluent Cloud in the past, you could potentially copy that and fill in the values yourself. If you don't have one created, you can use the Create Kafka Cluster API Key button on the right and fill in the values automatically. Since this is a brand new cluster, I'm gonna go ahead and use that option. It'll present you with a brand new key and secret. Make sure you give it a good description and then select download and continue. It'll go ahead and download the text document with that API key and secret to your computer. It'll also fill in the configuration on screen, which is what we'll use to connect. Go ahead and click copy, and then let's pop over to our code editor of choice. Again, I've already opened up the working directory, fund-kafka-security, and now I just need to create a new file. I'm gonna name it getting started.properties, and then paste in the configuration that I just got from Confluent Cloud, and then save that file. Now we're all ready to start producing our messages. So we're gonna head back over to Confluent Cloud to create a topic. Click on topics on the left-hand side, click create topic, give the topic a name. In this case, I'm gonna name mine purchases and change the partition to just one and then create with defaults. Before we head back over to the code editor or to our terminal to produce these messages, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the messages tab so that then I can pop back over here and take a look at the messages that are being produced at any given time. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my terminal. All right, so let's paste into the command we need to run. Now, this looks a little bit confusing, so let's walk through it. We're running Docker and creating a temporary volume that has our getting started.properties file mounted into the shared directory. We're gonna be using the Confluent Kafka image, running our console producer. We've given it the bootstrap server, the topic, 
and then the configuration file that we're going to use to produce. If I hit enter, looks like I'm in the wrong working directory. So if I CD into the fundamentals of Kafka security, and then I run the command again, we get a couple of warnings because there's a little bit extra in that configuration file that we don't need, but we open up and can start producing messages. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control C to end, and then let's pop back over really quickly and just see if those messages appear. And look at that, they're coming into Confluent Cloud. Now let's go ahead and run our console consumer to see the messages here that we just produced. Go ahead and paste in the command and you'll notice the command is exactly the same except for this time we're using our console consumer. We're asking it to give us the messages from the beginning and we're using that same getting started properties file. We get those same warnings and there they are. Our messages appear. Go ahead and hit control C to exit out of the console consumer. That's it. We're able to create a new cluster, create a new topic and produce and consume some messages. All of this using a secure and encrypted connection. As you'll see throughout this course, things are a lot more complex when we go into securing Kafka. So let's get started.